What's up guys, it's Geeks Corner here and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and this time it's going to be for AirPods Pro and they are actually replicas so we just wanted to see how they actually compare to the official AirPods Pro obviously by Apple and as you can see the box comes and it looks a lot like Apple's uh, actual AirPods Pro so looking at these straight off these actually look legitimate they've got the pull tag and everything exactly like Apple would and so we're going to take a look at these now the reason we want to look at these is obviously we want to check what the sound quality is like but we want to see what you actually get for your money from these compared to what you get for your money from Apple now these actually cost £45 instead of the £250 by Apple so we are going to look and see what actually the quality is like as well and the whole unboxing experience so we're just going to go ahead and jump onto that now okay so as I said, it's got the whole pull tab like Apple has as well. Okay, so it's embossed just like Apple's box there. And there it's got serial number there which obviously I've blocked out but I will put that into the website and see what actually pulls up on there as well just to see if they've actually managed to fake the serial number or if they've just gone and just put a random number on there okay so here you've got your design by Apple in California you've got your books here So all your packaging is like Apple, obviously no Apple stickers in there. Now I can't remember when I unboxed my official AirPods Pro originally whether or not they had a sticker in there. Uh, so I will look that up and put a little note on the screen if they did. And then here you've got the actual AirPods case. And we'll look at that in just a moment. And then under here, we've got your USB-C to the lightning on there. And that's pretty standard. And then you've got your tips as well. Okay, so moving on now to these. So again, wrapped just like that was there, a bit of dust, that's okay. And they've got the tips on there as well. Green light comes on. And in there as well, not sure if we can focus in on it. It's got all your CE markings as well. So I've got an iPhone SE running iOS 14.2 on here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually pair these to see what happens. So on the back there is your pairing button and I've just noticed as well it also says, try to focus in on that, designed by Apple in California and assembled in China. So all in all they visually look like the official AirPods. So not your AirPods Pro so we're going to connect on there. So it's connecting. There we are, media control, and then it tells you obviously the same as you would with the official ones. It walks you through 100% charge there, 88% on the case, and we'll check as well to see. We are optimized charging, we'll check then to see how that case changes if it does when charging. Previously, we had some AirPods. Uh, official original ones and even no matter how much you charge in the case always showed about 60% charge so we go ahead now and we're going to pop these in so we've got the, the ding there okay so here now we're going to load up a podcast on the overcast application now on the iPhone I actually use overcast there 
And if you are looking for a good podcast player, I highly recommend Overcast. Uh, if you're looking for cross-platform as well, definitely check out Pocket Casts. They are actually really good, and I'm actually using those on my Pixel 5 as well. So we're just going to see if we can actually pick up the volume that's actually coming out of here now by covering the sensors on here. And unfortunately, the sound is really quite small compared to the microphone here. Okay, so we're going to go now and just do the fit test. And if you've never done the UFIT test, basically it plays a loud tune there just to make sure that you've got a good seal. And obviously you don't want to remove the AirPods. So you can see we got good fit results. Now, obviously when you go here, you've got off at the moment and then you go into transparency mode there. And then obviously you've got your noise cancellation there as well. Now, obviously that doesn't actually work because it's not official by Apple, but it is still a good seal anyway, so it does drown out the noise and on there. So nothing actually happens, no matter how much you press these, when you're talking, everything sounds the same on there. So if you're looking obviously for noise cancellation, these definitely are not for you, but if you're looking for official looking ones and sounding, good sounding ones, then definitely check these out. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're going to load up Spotify there. And we already know that the microphone on this camera isn't going to pick up any sound. So we're just going to have a little listen just to see what the sound quality is like as well. So we can give you our initial feedback on there. Okay, so they've been on charge for a while now. And yep, 100% on the case and the pods. So that actually works as well. So we've pulled up the serial number and it is covered under Apple Care Plus with an expiration date of 2022. So obviously they've spoofed the serial number there and a genuine one at that. So again, this just goes to show the extent that these people have actually gone to to make sure that these come out looking as genuine as possible. Okay, so let's talk about fit, feel and sound quality as well. Now, as you saw in that video, I opened up Spotify However, I couldn't play that over the microphone because YouTube would pull this down straight away. So the sound quality is actually really, really good. Uh, the feel, they do feel uh, a little bit slightly cheaper plasticky feel compared to Apple's. However, uh, when I used Apple's, they didn't feel that much differently. Now, like I said, I owned AirPods Pro in the past. I ended up taking them back within my return period just because I personally didn't feel that they were worth 250 pounds on there. Um, I was having some trouble with the noise cancellation that was just basically uh, causing headaches and things like that and that may have been down to a fault on there or just down to the part of myself so uh, I just thought that 250 was definitely not worth it. So for me not having noise cancellation on these replicas is not something I'm worried about especially for that price the actual fit and feel in the ears, they actually fit really, really good. Uh, one of the things I was having trouble with on the previous AirPods as well is no matter how much I wore them, I just couldn't get a comfy fit on the left ear. They kept falling out. Now, in this quick initial test there, that wasn't an issue, but obviously we'd have to see how that goes over the next day or two. And obviously moving around and we'll see and probably do a follow up cover and to see how they are going on there but for 45 pounds they are definitely definitely worth it now obviously I'm not going to put links to where you can actually purchase these from because uh, I don't want to get into any trouble but these are really easy to find online uh, and like I say they do carry a lot of Apple logos on there so obviously legality wise that's something that I'm not prepared to get into but if you are looking for cheaper, good sounding alternatives, then these are definitely something you want to consider. Uh, not everybody wants to pay £250 or can afford to pay £250 for Apple's official ones. And not everybody is that worried about noise cancellation. Now obviously, like I say, if you are looking for noise cancellation, definitely avoid these. Uh, and I know there are other brands out there that offer really good noise cancellation as well. Some would say better. I'm not an audiophile, so as long as I've got good sounding music, I'm happy with that. I listen to a lot of podcasts every day. So most of my listening is podcasts. Uh, I do listen a lot on the music, but I'd say more at the moment on the podcast inside, yeah, for my commutes and things like that. 
but yeah these are for 45 pounds definitely a bargain and definitely something i'll be looking into but that's pretty much it guys i just wanted to look at what you can get for your money these days and obviously with apple raising the bar all the time then we're going to see more and more clones going on there but over all the clones i've seen these are one of the better ones i've looked at at the one-to-one -one scale on there as well when you pull it out of your ear it actually stops the music just like it does on the official ones as well so there you go guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one